Back by Pop. Hello everyone and welcome into our final episode of High School Roundup uh, Season 22. Ooh, hard to believe we've been, all, been doing this for 22 years, but uh, it's our last episode. This is our top 10 end plays of the year. Here, I'm John Sakaguchi. Joined with me as always, my, my co-host Peyton Trollinger. Hey, Peyton, how you doing today, man? I'm doing pretty good, Johnny. Uh, we had a few uh, technical difficulties, but we're finally here. We're going to break down our top 10 plays this year. It's going to be a really fun time. Yeah, we had a lot to go through. Mm -hmm. We've covered so many games this season. And between all the LH games, our high school games of the week, uh, some of the stuff from our friends at uh, uh, Westmoreland Sportsnet, Ed, and a lot of the stuff that we got from some of the fans. And mm -hmm. so you and I had a lot of stuff to go through, through to the side. What was going to be in the top 10 and that was kind of a, a process to go through yes it was a very difficult process to go through we looked at all the plays that we had and it was so hard not like just to pick just the top 10. yeah i, I mean <laughs> there was it was very difficult mm -hmm. all because you and i all had to argue about all a couple yeah. of them um but uh what do you say, Peyton? Let's jump into it and check them out here. Let's get it going. Here, let's take a look at number 10 and on our list here as we get set for our top 10 and plays of the year. Starting off here at number 10. It's going to be that, uh, this is against Ringo. It was the LH and Ringgold game, right? Yeah, here we go. Oh, Rodney Gallagher er, feeling some pressure. Er, rolls out to the far sideline and lets it fly into coverage. It's his receiver, or makes the catch and pulls it in. And that was a great catch there. Number nine is going to be Bell Vernon and TJ. We have Joe Lexi here on the run, going right up the middle. He's got a guy on him, but he refuses to go down. He doesn't get the touchdown, but what an effort by him to get on that one yard line. All right, now on to number eight, eight L H at Bell Vernon. Rodney Gallagher or rolling near side. Throws it to his receiver, Pratt, and guess what? Uh, hey, he's pushed, and there's a flag touchdown with Stan. Now, number seven on our list comes from the same game, I believe. We have Devin Whitlock. Many great things have been said about him. Plenty of time in the pocket. He's feeling a little bit of pressure, so he decides, hey, I have legs, so we're going to run this. Goes through the entire Laurel Highlands defense and manages to put up six for the Leopards. Just great agility and offensive awareness by Whitlock. On to number six now. Oh, here as we go to Ringo Laurel Highlands. Look at this pass. Contested it in that LH defense. We know it's tough as we see he pulls it in. Very tight coverage there. Now on to number five. We go to Shalroy, my alma mater, where it's Brennan Shannon making and just an absolutely incredible catch. We see the pass by Harps. Shannon had to juggle that. What focus to just hold on to that ball and come down with the All right, now let's take a look here at our number four play of the season. And Laurel Highlands hosting McKeesport. Rodney Gallagher are letting it fly downfield and caught for the touchdown. Oh, no, excuse me, that wasn't God. That was Dennis Jackson. <laughs> Dennis yeah. Jackson, the McKeesport Tigers. But, I mean... Still a great game by yeah. both of them. Great throw by uh, Jackson there. And, I mean, it, it was multiple covers. There was like three or four, yeah, the four two or three or guys four, there. Four guys from LH's defense yeah. in, in the area, and two of them were contesting that mm -hmm. pass. The fact that they were able to pull that down for the touchdown was amazing. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of really good plays. Like I said, it was really tough to pick just even those, like, ten through four. It was so hard. Yeah, uh, so – Oh, that being said, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we're going to have uh, some our honorable mentions as well as our top three play. Ladies, find out all who's number one. So uh, stick around. We'll be right back after this. 
Back by popular demand and better than ever is late night dining in the right, Natali well, Student Center. Zero, Join us starting are. Monday, October 18th at the hot spot for evening dining, Natali Evening Eats, located on the second floor of Natali next to Umami. Open Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. And on weekends, 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m., Natali Evening Eats is a one-stop shop for your favorite menu items. Orders can be placed through our mobile app or at the designated Evening Eats kiosk. We can't wait to see you there. Hello, everyone, and welcome back here to High School Roundup. Top 10 plays of the year. Here, here's, uh, oh, we went through 10 through 4, or but before we get to our top three plays of the year, we're going to do our honorable mentions. And Peyton and I literally argued back and forth on some <laughs> of these ones about who was going to make it. And we said, and we've got to talk about these ones just because of the fact there are so many good plays that uh, we had. It, like you said, Johnny, it was so tough to make this list. And just because it's on the honorable mention doesn't mean it wasn't a good play. It's just, it was just so good, and like I said, there was just a lot of really good plays this year. I mean, we could, honestly could have done a top 20 play. We really thing, could have. Thing, because, between all the highlights we had this season, and it was – there were so many different things we had that we could have done. Mm -hmm. um, we could have went and did a top 20, but uh, we decided we were going to keep it to the top 10 plays that we had. So let's take a look now here, folks, at our honorable mention plays of the year. All right, folks, and here we go. Oh, give it a second. And I made this graphic a little longer than it probably should have. So going back to Laurel Highlands McKee Sport, this is the one with Rodney Gallagher yes. that I was talking about. Uh, it goes on the far sideline, finds his – no, it's picked off. Oh, as we see here, or look at that right there, or Perryman, and has that little slide like, like uh, we saw in the ACC title game <laughs> for the interception on that one. Perryman just came out of nowhere to pick off Gallagher. Now we're back here at the pot here, and on this run is Caleb DeHaven. Just breaks one tackle, jukes another. He's got five guys on him. He's still going, and then he finally rolls out of bounds. Just a really hard-fought run there by DeHaven. Now moving on to the next play. A, in the playoffs, Rodney Gallagher has got all day in the pocket here. Or literally, look at this. It's f about five, six seconds before he throws it downfield. A 45, 50 yard pass there. There for the first down. On as well. Then we go to here to Bell Vernon. Here we are. There's a great kick return here by none other than Quinton Martin. We've talked a lot about him this year. Has to stiff arm a couple people to get through, and he's got nothing but green, but in this case, all beach in front of him as he puts up six on the uh, special teams. Yeah, that was probably one of the better kick returns we saw mm -hmm. this season. Now moving back, oh, back to the Mustang Corral. Rodney Gallagher er, and, er, takes on West Mifflin's defense. Look at it um, down the near sideline. And, and whoop, makes another guy miss. Makes another one miss. Makes the third guy miss before or being brought down at the two-yard line. I mean. <clears throat> All right, and then our last honorable mention is going to come from the first game of the season, actually, where it's best center in California. Varsco gets the ball up the middle. Somehow he doesn't get tackled. He keeps it going. He finds the far side of the field, gets into that pylon, and we're ready to go for that. Yep, so when we come back, folks, we're going to have our top three plays of the year. Here, see who made it in, so stick around. Oh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back here in just a moment. Back by popular demand and better than ever is late night dining in the Natali Student Center. Join us starting Monday, October 18th at the hot spot for evening dining, Natali Evening Eats, located on the second floor of Natali next to Umami. Open Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. and on weekends, 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m., Natali Evening Eats is a one-stop shop for your favorite menu items. Orders can be placed through our mobile app or at the designated Evening Eats kiosk. We can't wait to see you there. Welcome back into High School Roundup. Uh, top 10 Plays of the Year edition. 
And here on CU TV and CU TV Sports One, I'm John Sakaguchi. Join with me always, Ace Peyton and Trollinger. Her Peyton, we've seen so many great plays this year, Aaron. It's been a fun season and for football. Uh, we're in the, in the state playoff games right now. Uh, and I, it's good to see we still have a couple of local teams in it. But mm -hmm. uh, let's find out now oh, who our top three plays of the year are. are we, <laughs> and these ones you and I really argued on. on I'm really excited for this one. I'm really uh, excited. All right, so let's jump into it. And here we go, folks, our top three plays of the year. Starting off with number three, it's kind of a conjointed uh, set of plays here. Here as we head to the backyard brawl, Uniontown versus Laurel Highland. And opening kickoff here, Uniontown's kicking in a squib kick to keep it away from Gallagher and company. But the ball pops out and is recovered by my stepbrother, Tyler Hawk, as he brings it to the sideline. A couple plays later, their quarterback Act towns it. It takes a snap up, has all sorts of pressure, lets it fly a miles on a tip drill, makes the catch, and takes it in for the opening score of the game. It's a great play there by him. Now we're going to go to number two. Uh, playoff game, I believe this is LH and Beaver. Gallagher in the pocket, facing heavy pressure from the uh, Beaver defense jukes out all four of those defenders on the run. He's going to let it fly downfield, and he is going to make a, an amazing catch in that coverage. Just a great play all around. And here we go, folks. Our number one play of the year here comes to us from the LH Aliquippa game. And Gallagher looking for or the easy touchdown and tip. Nope. And caught by uh, the Quips defender. Down. And knocked out a bounce, barely kept his foot but it's, but in bounds for the catch. That was Donovan Walker who made that interception. And listen, I got to say, I saw that play, Johnny, and I'm like, that has to be number one. Well, you and I even slowed it down so mm -hmm. many different times just to see how he caught it. And we went frame by frame to see how this play a, uh, formed out. Oh, and it was just amazing to see. It was tipped. Caught it and still old managed to keep his feet in bounds before he got knocked out. My my thing, I just don't even know how he stayed in bounds after that. Like that, I still don't even know how he caught that. Like the fact that he was that Walker was able to do that in that high pressure game. That was a big playoff game there, and he was able to do it. Turnover and number one play for high school roundup. And it should be noted that Aliquippa did go on, on to face Bell Vernon in the Whipple title game two weeks later, or in our your or five a. Whipple champions, if I'm correct on that one, 4A, excuse me, a 4A a for or that one. They beat Bell Vernon at Heinz Field for the Whipple title game, won in their first state playoff game and are currently waiting for their second round matchup up at Hershey this weekend. So good luck to the Quips as well as everyone else in the state title game. But Peyton, I can't wait to be doing this again next year, man. I also can't wait either. <laughs> and so, oh, we got uh, Vulcan basketball this winter, folks. Don't go anywhere for that. Don't want to miss that. That uh, is what. Oh, oh, next season we'll have more high school football all games, more or highlights coming to your way. A, a so, oh, so we get ready for the holiday break. A, from me, Peyton, and the rest of our crew. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to everyone, and we'll see you next year.